Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on estimating. So this is the second video on the topic and we're going to look at estimating with equations first of all. So in this example the force for the, the or sorry the formula for the force F on a moving object is F equals MA where M is the mass and A is the acceleration. Estimate the force of an object which has a mass of 5.87 kilograms and acceleration of 24.02 meters per second squared. So let's just rewrite the equation first of all. So that's an F equals MA. So M is the mass. So the mass is 5.87 kilograms. Sorry, that should be 5. 5.87 kilograms and the acceleration is 24.02. And that's in meters per second squared. So what we're going to need to do is approximate both of these values. I'm going to use one significant figure here. So we're going to have 6 kilograms and 20 meters per second squared. Now you could use two significant figures for the acceleration if you wanted to. Uh, but the whole point of estimation is to make the calculation simpler. Uh, so I'm going to use one significant figure. If you were to use two significant figures, it would probably be okay in an exam. Uh, there's usually some degree of leniency. Uh, but what we're going to do now is write the expression force. It's equal to mass times acceleration. So that's 5.87, or, or sorry, 6 times 20, seeing as though we're using an approximation here. So we can say that the force, uh, that should say, is approximately equal to, that's going to give us a value of 120. Now it doesn't say it in the question, but the units for force are newtons. So the final skill that we'll look at is estimating square roots. And in this example, we're finding an estimate for the square root of 40. So let's just write out some square numbers. So we've got 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, 6 squared, 7 squared, and we'll stop there. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared, 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and 6 squared is 36, and 7 squared is 49. So we're looking for the square root of 40, so uh, 40 falls somewhere between 6 squared and 7 squared, uh, because 6 squared is 36, and 7 squared is 49, so obviously 40 is between the two. Uh, so let's just rewrite these up here, 6 squared equals 36, 7 squared equals 49, so they're nice and big so we can see them now. Uh, so uh, what's the difference here? So we've got 40 and 36, so the difference between them is 4, let's just put difference equals 4, and 7 squared, uh, which is 49, the difference between 49 and 40 is 9. So uh, the smaller difference is between uh, 6 squared and root 40, or sorry, uh, between 36 and 40. So that means that the square root of 40 is going to be closer to the square root of 36 than it is to the square root of uh, 49. So uh, let's just come up with an estimate then. So the square root of 40 is going to be a bit closer to uh, 6 than it is to 7. So we'll say that it's approximately equal to 6.3. If you're feeling good about estimation questions, you can have practice at them with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on everything so it's a really good way of keeping track of where you're going wrong how you can improve and so on so if you're interested you can take the test by clicking the link below